Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, oh my god, these ads. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to successfully roleplay on After the Flash Mirage. Now, I'm actually gonna be, um, helped by one of my friends, and his name is none other than Z-Man! Yeah, hey guys, so, this is actually gonna be an advanced tips video, as Elytra had recently just posted a beginner's tips guide for after the flash roleplay today we're gonna do an advanced tips guide and uh he's called me over here to help you guys and help him uh kind of um show you guys and explain in depth what you should uh what you need to know for an advanced guide of after the flash rpn so you can have the best time and the most fun when rpn in after the flash without further ado Let's get on. Hey guys, um, so basically, yeah, um, if you haven't read the lore already, we're gonna actually not read you guys the lore on, like, my beginner advance, or my beginner tips, um, stop God. opening your freaking door. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, so if you haven't read the lore, uh, Excuse me. <laughs> you might get confused. You might get confused from this video. Yes. Yeah. You. You are uh, definitely. Um. Uh, as in, uh, in order to understand, understand most of the advanced uh, tips here that we're probably going to present to you soon, you're going to have to know at least the location or presets lore and the factions lore. So, uh, if you haven't already read it and you want to get into advanced tips, uh, go to the hopefully the first link in the description below, and you'll probably find the lore there. And uh, yeah, do what. Alright, so I'm going to take up the uh, first tip here. I'm going to explain um, a few of the factions uh, quickly. Now, I'm pretty sure as a beginner, you already know some of the factions. As a beginner, you're, um, you're not very necessary to know most of the wars, uh, most of the lore. However, I'm sure you've at least seen some of the factions. Like, for example, the most common one that I see a lot of beginners are peeing as is the UCPF. Mainly because of its stylish uniform and lavishly de uh, designed camo, so it really intrigues a lot of beginners to RP as that. So I'm sure some of you guys have already RP'd as, for example, the USCPF, uh, maybe even the SF S SFL, I mean SLF or SEAL. So let's get into uh, some of the basic things that you need to know if you're going to RP as a actually not basic, sorry, advanced things that you want to know as RPing as a USCPF. Now, I'm sure you've already realized this, but as some a lot of uh, people that are actually advanced don't know this yet, but as any sort of military faction or any sort of faction within ATF, you're not allowed to enter Crater View. Now, if you read the war, Crater View is a civilian hotel for cheap prices and meant to help solely civilians. The reason why military aren't being helped is they have their own bases, have their own camps, they have provided uh, rich amounts of food as well, if you read the lore. And uh, that's mainly why Crater View offers uh, positions to poor people or just civilians in general. Now, as a USCPF, you want to make sure that, uh, as an advanced tip as a uh, USCPF, you want to uh, make sure you RP in the right locations. Of course, Crater View is not as, uh, you're basically banned from Crater View as any military faction. However, uh, as a USCPF, when you're doing military raids and such on Crater View, you want to make sure that you no, SFL, or SLF can only do raids on Crater View. Um, oh, USCPS can, USCPF cannot go inside Crater View or any, like, little towns, like, what my mouse yeah, is all like, they, they can't, uh, exactly go into any, um, governmental, uh, provided towns, like Crater View, for example, it's a government- Oh. I, I explain factions. Now, I'm sure all of you guys have tried RPing as maybe SFL, SEAL, USCPF, CDF, all those other factions here. Now, I'm going to assume, by the way guys, I, this is critical information. If you want to learn any advanced tips, you have to have already read the lore. Um, maybe not all of it, but I recommend you at least read the locations lore and the factions lore if you want to be able to 
uh, RP with these advanced tips. You're probably going to get very confused in the video if you don't already have read the lore. Now, uh, if you are a beginner that uh, just wants to learn more tips and decide to click on the advanced tips, I recommend you go check out. Yeah, if you're someone like, uh, if you're one of those people who just like want to learn something, don't give a shit about the category, click anything. Uh, if you're one of those guys who just uh, beginner that search up tips, uh, click this video, uh, read advanced tips and didn't give a shit, I recommend you give a shit. Uh, go ahead and sit your ass up and go uh, look at the beginner's guide on the Lightyear's channel. And it's, um, it <laughs> explains things uh, a lot more beginner-like. And uh, it, he also does read the lore for you, so if you're a uh, big lazy ass and doesn't decide to go uh, pop in the link and read lore yourself, you can have uh, Mommy Elytra read it out for preschoolers. Anyways, let's get into the advanced steps for the big boys and let's get on with it. So, faction, faction RP, faction RP, uh, tips and tricks. So, you get USCPF, SFL, and CR, and CDF or the main factions and the most popular factions of all that I see. Uh, a lot of beginners RP as a USCPF, maybe because of its lavishly and uh, uniform that just absolutely uh, attracts a, a lot of people, uh, which is probably why a lot of beginners RP is that. Now, the first pretty basic, actually, faction will be the USCPF. I'll start with the USCPF uh, first. The first basic faction rule for that is you can't enter any sort of governmental controlled areas. You cannot enter- I, I recommend you shut your fucking gun. Um, I have no <laughs> audio on, so my- So actually, I'll turn my audio all the way up to your, my viewers. Oh my god, I can't hear your voice over that. Okay, I'm turning my sound all the way down. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, uh, turned my sound all the way down so I don't hear shit. Anyways, so, um, sorry for the quick interruption there. But, uh, basic rule as a USCPF is, um, you're not basically, uh, you can't enter any governmental controlled areas, such as Curtify, which is, um, pretty obvious it's governmental controlled. Or Kolov is actually not governmental controlled, and if you've already read the lore, I hope, uh, it's actually just a quite an abandoned city. Um, it's just a city in ruins. It's uh, pretty much abandoned. Wait, how um, do I make it well, so like you can see my bullets? Oh, uh, do settings and do projectile trails. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 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 I got you. So uh, another advanced uh, faction tip as a USCPF, for example, is you're not allowed to do any sort of governmental controlled raids. As a USCPF in their name is, I mean, uh, I, I believe it stands for, uh, I don't even know the word so I should probably set it over to because what it stands for, I completely forgot. And it stands for United States Civilian Preservation Force. I mean, Preservant. Oh shit, Preservation Force or Preservation Force. I I I, I suck at English. Um, uh, basically, what this force is, it's the uh, it's a uh, oh god, there's some um, somebody else here trying to get the proper hacks through point seventy six. Um, did he open the gate? No, he didn't open the gate. Wait, just a second. He's just trying to glitch through. What? You're kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to record. Okay, let's go. Out. Let's go. Out. Yeah, let's just let's go, go out. Let's go. So, while we're running from those guys, uh, I'm probably gonna cut that out. So, guys, uh, we had some more technical difficulties. I know this video is probably gonna get a little long due to the fact that we don't have a private server or any private areas that we can explain this in. Um, basically, as a USCPF, advanced tips here. Uh, you can't um really go to any government control areas can't um you cannot do any governmental control raids as you are the government kind of you are literally united states preservation force you literally are the united states which is where this takes place and so you are basically what's left of the military jumped into its own little faction um now um, the sfl do you mind that, me explaining sfl yeah sure sure go ahead Okay, so SFL. Oh, mind my sniffling. I'm sick. 
<laughs> but the SFL essentially is um. Oh my god, I can't stop. Anyway, it's a and uh, let me explain. The SFL yeah. is basically a political uprising, political opponent to the what's left of the U.S. government, and they're trying to take um, they're trying to take control of where this all takes place, which I believe is Lake Med. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Lake Med, Arizona, this is taking place. So basically, the Southwest Liberation Front, SLF, um, it has existed since 20, the 2040s. Keep in mind, this is 2055 right now um, in the time period. So <clears throat> essentially, they're a rising political government that is trying to take um, control over the U U.S. Um, right now or the what's left of our government. So that's basically all there is to it. Some people view them as bad. I just view them as like a, a, like your political opponent. So there, it, it depends how you view them on whatever, you know. But yeah, most people, SFL, are actually allowed to raid Creator View, unlike USCPF. Um, they're allowed to raid it. I'm pretty sure it's two plus members to be able to raid it. And that is because no SFL or SLF would raid alone. So, yeah. And another thing to take into consideration is that um, uh, when they, because they're an uprising political government, and their military is almost equal to the USCPF. Um, the USCPF has to kill all raiders before um, they actually make it to um, Crater View. So, uh, USCPF uh, kills um, SLF or SFL on site. Now, if you're trying to like um, Josh was mentioning there, SSLF gives you um, a very nice opportunity as RPing as it. You get a nice opportunity to be able to raid US governmental areas, which there is quite quite some. So you get quite of a nice RP there. I just want to uh, make things clear that uh, when there are certain restrictions when doing this type of RP, when you raid Credit View, of course, which is one of the most populated areas with um, other players RPing, they're going to need to um, have to have one permission from at least other peers that are like you're gonna have to at least uh, find some other us cpf um people and get permission from them and you have to let them know of the raid because well one that's that's actually tips it's not really something that has to be done that's more of just an advanced tip if you want to have a better rp because you just kind of you know come out of nowhere start raiding one it's very unorganized us cpf doesn't get into rp positions and it gets kind of harder to do this faction event. Now, if you're lucky in the mod or admin, the admin and mod can set up their own uh, raid and notify the entire server of the raid to participate. So if you're lucky enough to do that, you can always ask them for permission because they have more power over you. I mean, I'm sorry. No, that sounds like dictatorship. Uh, they, have more, uh, they have more abilities in RP, so you know they can always uh, set up an entire event and, you know, keep their RP set. Like, for example, right now, as you can see, people seem to be doing some sort of survival survival RP, you know, uh, Wasteland RP. If you look there, look at his avatar and stuff. His bio, age, 30 inch, yeah, Scope Fisher has ropes and that. Yeah. Um, also, don't be like this guy. Don't wear... Uh, okay, wait, let me swim over to these losers real quick that don't know how to RP. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna explain fail RP. <laughs> Yo, look at this kid, um, Annie B. Sh swam away. The care, the, the it their body, swam their away. Body package, their body yeah, package, you yeah. gotta remove the body. You, package. you have to remove that body package. That's considered basically fail RP, pretty much. Uh, fail RP. Uh, I think Joshua want to explain fail RP for them. Um, so fail RP is essentially when someone. Walks up to you. Either is, there are multiple ways you can fail RP. One fail RP is not using quotations. If it's an organized RP, you should be using like hi with proper grammar and actually say like hi like that. 
properly. Yeah, and like a, a classic also fail not a P. Fail a, a classic fail RP is when someone comes up to you like this and they do this. Just no, this classic fail RP. And they just they just shoot at you. Like they just shoot. No, they the, like they, that they, would be fail RP. Hands up, and then they they do that. That's classic fail RP right there. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Wait, let's to. Do you want to RP? <sighs> Okay, dude, come on. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's just, uh, that is the two main factions, the uh, NR factions and the faction. NR stands for in roleplay faction, and uh, and uh, uh, IOR fa uh, faction stands for in RP and off RP factions, basically an official faction made by the devs, creators, or mods of the game. Now I'm going to explain quickly the most popular uh, IR faction, which is the Watchmen faction in Creator View. Now I'm currently, this is actually currently my Watchmen avatar right here. Now I'm sure not many of you guys who listen to the radio often in Creator View, you, I mean not Creator View, in uh, ATF. You know, I hear um, one of the announcements saying the new program called the Watchmen Faction, or the Watchmen Program that's been set up by the U.S. government uh, to uh, pro provide more security in Creator View uh, to stop, you know, murders and other things that actually used to happen a lot in RPs, and they, the devs, this is actually a quite recent faction that's been created by the uh, creator of the ATF uh, series. Now... Personally, my uh, I literally RP as a Watchman quite a bit, and uh, there really aren't that many advanced tips made by like uh, official people. But those are definitely some advanced tips that I would give you, and maybe even Josh has to offer uh, off of experience as RPing as a Watchman. Now, the first uh, this is like pretty much the uh, baseline tip uh, is as a Watchman, you're basically a guard, but much more secure. You're basically the secrets. The special forces of the guard unit, uh, but your name is uh, now a watchman, not a guard. Guards and watchmen are two different factions, or in our factions, I should say, um, because uh, a lot of people get confused thinking that guards and watchmen are the same exact thing and that they don't have power with each other. However, the watchman is much more elite and has more power for the guards. Now, the, the jobs are very much different. The guards, uh, like their name, is basically just meant to protect uh, any baseline. Um, objections that they see within Greater View. However, the Watchmen unit sees uh, a lot more, uh, a lot more action and sees a lot more complicated in-depth uh, obligations that they have to restrict. So, as a Watchman, your basic duties is to one make sure that uh, everything is in order uh, and any stores or merchants that are within Greater View uh, has a um, certified and organize a uh, shop themselves that uh, basically they cannot um, like they just have to have a organized um, store or whatever they're RPing as and uh, as a watchman you have to make sure that uh, the RPers pay the lift in RP currency which if you read the lore, I hope you have <laughs> that, like I've said many times, uh, the currency is listed, what they should be paying, and how currency has changed over time in 2055. Now that's basically the uh, all advanced tips that I have to give you off of experience. If Joss wants to add to that, he can now. Um, no, I have nothing to say, Um, except it's an upcoming faction. That's, yeah. it's not yeah, it's actually official yet, so you won't see many, like, people role-playing as it. Until and you won't see an official, official until now, however, I recommend as a Watchman, since it's one based off of the um, information that we have already of the Watchman unit, I recommend the uniform I'm wearing right now is the uniform I wear as a Watchman. I'll link all the items and asset IDs uh, in the description. I'll give it to Josh if he wants to put it in for you guys, but I'm not going to go into too in-depth of uniforms. No, I think now, that they can find their own, honestly. Yeah, they definitely can. It's just my recommendation. Josh, would you like to explain the location RP aspects or assets? Um, 
I have something to add to the SLF or SFL. Or I didn't go ahead and do it now. Um, you put A B period in front of your name when you're role playing as an SLF. A B. Would you mind telling us what that stands for? Um, I don't exactly know. I was just told you do it. It's a, is that something that you suggest or something that's been officially declared? It's been. Um, one of my friends told me when I was. Um, role playing as an SLF, and it's like an official thing. I don't know exactly right. why. Now, let's recommend if you guys want to get insider and advanced tips and uh, beginner tips, obviously, join the Discord server, join the group. You'll get insight and you'll get first hand information of new updates and such. It's definitely a good, good thing to invest in. You invest your time into doing that. Also, invest your time in reading the words because that's obviously going to make you better at RPing. Uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this part of the video. I don't want to go into the rest of the advanced tips. The reason being, it, it's actually going to be quite a very long video, like over 40 minutes at I've least. I've already been recording for half hour. Yes, huh? but most of that stuff's going to be cut out, remember? Yeah, I know. So, so you know, um, the problem is if I actually, if we both went into depth with all the other advanced tips, it would take a lot of your guys' time up, and that's in very intimidating, and you guys would probably just not even care anymore, just exit out the video. And we want to make sure you guys have a, you know, comfortable time watching it and not having to worry about the time of the video. So we'll make a part two to this um, later on. And if uh, we can get, um, let's just say, if we could get 10 likes by the end of today, we will post part two tomorrow. Yes, if we can get 10 likes by the end of today, we will post part two of Advanced Tips and Tricks tomorrow. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And uh, that's for me. Let Josh just do this is his channel. So, he should probably do his outro, too. <laughs> I don't um, know why it was the outro. We're not doing that, like, goal, but actually, yeah, I'm just gonna ask you to cut your own outro out. Yeah, because I was kind of stupid since it's your channel. So, oh. but if we can get 10 likes by the end of, like, in, if we can get 10 likes in 24 hours, I will do another video reading all the lore, all the factions, everything. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's gonna take, um, a lot of- Well, actually- we'll probably split it you... into parts. Like, part one and part two. Like, I think- I think they shouldn't be a lazy idiot. I think they should just do it themselves, honestly. I don't think you should read it out to Yeah, them, but like, just- You- you can read out at least, like, the- the- the baseline. Code. That's fine. Uh, that's something that- Um. Alright, well, you can do your ultra now. Okay, guys, well, that's going to be it from me and Angry. Or Z-Man. Mm -hmm. Or Z-Man. That's going to be it from us. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't get slashed by my rusty cut knife and go subscribe or else I will cut your fingers off. In five seconds, you have five, four, three, two, one. I hope you subscribed and like or else I'm going to cut your finger fingers off. Okay, bye.